Hey everybody, what is up? We jump here, and today I wanted to go over one of the cooler changes in the 1.13 snapshot so far, which is the boss bar command. And so one of the interesting things that you could do in this snapshot uh, that you haven't been able to do in previous versions of Minecraft, and I'm assuming this will stay the same when 1.13 comes out, but either way, I'll make a video on showing off the command at that point. Uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, this boss bar command is really cool because it lets you create a custom boss bar at the top of your screen. Um, and so I actually went ahead and created one uh, as an example right here. And what this uh, is going to be is it's going to be showing you all relatively how close I am to 1,000 subscribers. So it's out of 1,000 and I set the value to my current subscriber number. And you'll notice here if I press these two buttons, I show the bar first. And I'll show you how, to, how I did that pulsing thing if you want at the end of the video. And then I press that button. There we go. Now you can see there is where I am relative to 1,000 subscribers. Now, of course, um, you could also remove... Uh, the values and stuff, but I'll show you how to do that later. Unfortunately, this isn't quite as versatile value-wise as um, as using something like scoreboard objectives was in 1.12, um, but it works. So anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and I'm going to set this today time here because it's dark. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a bunch of this stuff and it's going to be cool. Um, one thing I want to mention, by the way, also, if you're in 1.13 on the snapshot, um, then you might want to turn command suggestions off if it's um, getting annoying for you. I just turned them off so you just can press tab for stuff to appear, but otherwise nothing appears, which for me is nice. Anyways, let me show you how I did this. Okay, so first off, let's create um, a, new, uh, a new boss bar here. So what you go ahead and do, and let me see here. Let's tiny. I'll, I'll zoom in though in editing for once. Um, what you go ahead and do is you do slash boss bar, um, and then you have a couple of different options. You have create, get, list, remove, and set. But I'm going to be covering mainly here create and set. So I'm going to go to create, oops, create, and then I'm going to set an ID. So this is going to be what you're going to refer to your boss bar by whenever you're using commands. So I'm going to type in tutorial bar, TUT bar, and then I'm going to put in quotes the name of it, uh, or not. Um, Oh, I guess you can't put caps in it. Okay. Tutorial bar. Er, yeah, I'm just going to call it tutorial. And then the name is going to be in quotes. Um, and I'm going to call this example bar. And I'll notice right off the bat, nothing's happening. Um, you can't see the boss bar at all. It's very, very pointless. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and, of course, make it visible. So what I'm going to do here, and by the way, the reason I'm looking up is just so that it's less distracting. When you look down at the commands, it's just going to have a plain background. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead here, and then, actually, it's doing nothing. I'm going to do boss bar. I'm going to go set. And this is kind of, if you remember how to use scoreboard teams at all, it's very similar to that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go boss bar set, and I'm going to press tab here, and select the tutorial one. Oops. Um, and then I'm going to press tab again. You'll notice I have a bunch of different options here. And I'm going to select, for now, we're going to select the one that says players. And, ugh, I forgot how it's so weird that way. Um, and we're going to select which players it's visible to. So if I press tab here, it gives me a bunch of options. I'm going to say it's just visible to me, Wave Jump Games. If I press enter, there we go. Now example bar shows at the top. Um, and now that we have this bar shown, let me go ahead here and say, set a value for it. So I'm going to say value 1. Um, and you notice the value just did nothing. So maybe value 2, still nothing. 100? There we go. That's our maximum. So our maximum default for the bar is actually 100. Um, now that's how I got this to go out of the 1,000. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay. But say you want to go ahead here. You know, let's let's say we're going to put it at 50 for now. Actually, I don't think you could do decimal points, by the way. Yeah, you can't do decimal points. Um, say you want to change the color. So I type color, and then I could put in something like blue, or I could put in green. And you notice there are all these different options here. And if you want to go ahead and see how I put the colors in to be uh, constantly changing for that other bar, it has to do with this little contraption that I tried to hide away as best I could here. Um, but basically, the way that this thing uh, works, like so, let me just uncover it a bit, um, is I just have a bunch of commands. Um, so this one says it's blue, this one says it's green, whatever, and I'm just having them run on a repeater loop, basic redstone. Um, but it works. Um, now, of course, this won't work for this boss bar because um, I haven't put in that name. Uh, but I could very easily modify this if I wanted to to have it run for that boss bar. It's pretty cool. And it, yeah, if you could have it flash different colors. If you wanted to do, use this for map making, for example, and you wanted it to be a boss bar for a, a custom boss fight or something, 
then one thing you could do is you could have it so once it say once you get a critical hit or something then you could have it like flash red and white or something or you know anyways you could do all sorts of stuff with it point is but moving on here i'm getting sidetracked so along with color um you have style and style isn't actually something i've gotten to mess around with too much but what style is is it's what the boss bar looks like stylistically of course soon as um the boss bar right now shows because i set it to notched underscore 10 and i'm just pulling this up by pressing tab um you know it shows me exactly halfway out of 10 notches if i set it to notch 12 um it'll put 12 notches in if i put to notch 20 it'll put 20 notches in and if i put it to say notch 6 it'll put 6 notches in but progress is the default and you know of course it does look pretty nice um now one other thing you have is you have uh let me go back to tutorial here uh, let's see, we've covered, oh yeah, you can change the name of it if you had a name. Um, you have, let's see, we've covered value, we've covered, okay, visible. Visible is nice if you want to hide it. So if I were to go visible, I could say it's false, oops. And now I can't see it anymore, but I can say it's true and then I see it. Um, and actually that's how I hid that other one earlier. So if I were to, instead of Minecraft tutorial here, put in Minecraft test, all of a sudden you could see it's up to 2000. Now, so what happens then if you also try and shoot tutorial, you could actually have multiple boss bars up there at the same time, which is pretty cool, I do have to say. Um, but, and by the way, I, I don't even know if I remembered to say this, but thank you for almost 1,000 subscribers. Um, it's pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll hit that very, very soon. Again, I don't know what to do for my special, so let me, let me know in the comments down below what you would want. Okay, moving on here. Um... Let's say, okay, the other thing that I probably haven't shown yet, let me take a look here, is max. And max lets you set what the boss bar is out of. So currently it's set to 100. If I set it to 1, um, it apparently doesn't... Oh, I'm setting the wrong one. Um, <laughs> let me change this over then to um, example, or tutorial. If I set the max to 1,000, bam. Um, you'll notice it it way goes out or yeah so because it's out of one now i mean 50 out of one or is obviously gonna fill up the entire thing say at 50 there we go 51 though it no longer fills up the whole thing and i could set to say 60 and you could tell very clearly it's no longer reaching that uh, point so if i set 200 there we are um and this could be interesting if you want to say do a percentage bar and of course if you know anything about math you could change that to scale over to a thousand or 10,000. Um, so if I wanted to go ahead and scale it out of 10,000, um, I could put percentages in here. So what I could do then is I could say set tutorial um, value, and I could then set it to say, let's say you wanted to 50.62%. I could then type 5062, and that would be exactly 50.60% of the boss bar. Um, of course, you get even more precise with that. But anyways, if if you don't know that far, if you haven't gone that far in math, don't worry about it. You don't need to know about it until then. Um, but basically, just know you can do percentages. Of course, you could still do like out of 100, 50 out of 100, 75 out of 100, whatever. Fairly simple. Okay. Um, and let's see. Of course, you could change your style even after you've changed it. Um, and it'll show up in a very similar way. Um, you know, as far to go ahead here. And let me go ahead first off and make this guy invisible. Uh, oops, I'm going to make the other one visible and hide the tutorial one here. Uh, oops. I screwed it up in all of the ways. There we go. You'll notice that I could say, for example, also change the style of this guy. So style um, notch 10. Uh, and that's the wrong one again. I'm really great at this. Um, uh, example. No, it was test. That was what it was. Anyways, yeah, there you go. You can see there it is. It's still, you know, at that point, it just changes kind of the overall overlaid texture on the bar. So I could change it to whatever, 20, whatever. It's it's an okay way if you want to go ahead and kind of see progress um, in a different way. But I think just the normal progress bar honestly works best. Now, as to how I went ahead and had it fill up earlier, that was something that was unfortunately more complicated than I was hoping for it to be, but let me show you. Actually, it's simple, but it more so just takes a lot of command blocks. So let me go ahead first off and set the test value to zero, right? So the first thing that I had here was I had a command block down here, and this just makes it visible, right? So of course, I already know how to do that, though, so I'm not going to bother with it. But then I had a huge chain of command blocks coming down here, and actually, 
yeah, if you're wondering why that's a grass block, it's because they filled it in. Um, and you notice know, I have a bunch of command blocks going down. But what these command blocks are, are very, very simple. So the first one here just says, and actually this, let me tell you right now, this is more complicated than it needed to be because I was thinking I could do something and then it didn't work. So um, yeah, it's kind of a mess. But basically what all you'd have to do is for each, um, for each command block, you'd say boss bar set, you know, the boss bar name, value, and then the value. And you would just run a bunch of chain command blocks, unconditional and always active, going off each other, um, and do little increments until, in my case, I got to 986, so I go 900, 800, whatever. Um, and then, of course, when I press this button here, because um, the way ticks work in Minecraft, um, ticks are kind of almost like Minecraft seconds. So um, 20 things run, 20 ticks are in a second, and so 20 command blocks run per second, basically. Um, so you'll notice here, if you watch the top, as I press this button here, you will see a little bit of, uh, of gradual animation, but not too much. And I might even slow that clip down for you. Um, but yeah, you could tell that there is a bit of a, a gradual thing there. Um, of course, you could just set it immediately there, and I don't even know if it animates that way. If so, that would be pretty cool. Let's see. Yeah, actually, it does animate that way. Apparently, it, it just wasted my time completely. Whatever. Also, yeah, if you're wondering why, of course, the thing is changing in chat as I'm typing here, or the color of it's changing in chat, that's because the color is changing up top. So it's cool as it actually reflects the color up top in chat. Um, of course, by the way, something I should show you, if I were to go to game rule, command block output, <laughs> true, um, you'll see constant spam from that command block loop. But uh, yeah, that's why you keep a game rule command block output set to false. Um, you don't want random issues like that. Speaking of, do I keep inventory on? Uh, apparently you can't do slash kill anymore. Great. Really, this is very helpful. Um, but yeah, so um, I think, and let me go ahead and, here and watch the animation one more time here. There we go. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will have more 1.13 videos out covering different aspects of the command system and all sorts of different stuff. And when 1.13 comes out itself, I will have a whole new command block tutorial series. If you want to get an idea of what that is and you haven't seen it, you can go to my 1.12 command tutorial series, um, which is pretty helpful, I would say. Um, and anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Bye!